Hello good people, welcome to the Vataka YouTube channel uh, and welcome to African Films and Theatres. This is a platform where we unapologetically celebrate African cinema. Today's topic is inspired by a conversation I actually had with a friend of mine and they asked that, do you think that we need any more South African apartheid films? And you know, I was taken aback a bit because I, I never thought about it and I never gave it thought. Uh, and then we just had a brief discussion there. But firstly, what are your thoughts? Do we need any further South African apartheid films? Or like, you've had enough at this point, like, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay with not having to see a South African apartheid film, you know? And I think for different people, um, you know, certain reasons that like, it could be triggering content, um, you know, like, disheartening events, you know. And some people don't need to relive that. But I think for me, I think. Our history of South Africa is very, very important and it's very, very important that it's documented even in audiovisual media. I think there is an opportunity to tell more South African apartheid films, uh, but I think the opportunity that is coming and that I wish to, to see is that of black writers being given an opportunity to tell stories on their narrative, black directors, black producers, cast crew and all of that. I think if you think about some of the Films about our heroes, and you think about the people who are backing it up financially. You just realize that one, some are not even South African, and they're international media houses. So that means that's their IP, you know. I think we are honestly in need of telling South African apartheid films by South Africans and just owning the narrative a bit more. Um, and also, there are so many stories to explore, there are so many me memories of our grandparents, our mothers. I mean, apparently, like our democracy is what, 28 years? Is it 29 now? Mmm, 29. You know? Um, and, you know, you still pe have people who have lived those events, and their stories are important. Like, I just remember learning about the story of Solomon Makangu through the phone called Kan Kanushi. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't know this history in detail. And this is our history as South Africans. What's the history about Chris Harvey, about Steve Biko, about Abu Mama who probably live in the same street as yours, who live in the same street as your grandparents? What's your grandparents' story? For that reason, I honestly think there is room for more South African apartheid films and to just showcase and document our history. Uh, there are a lot more 